Well, we are here at the 30th Annual Genie Awards, and unbelievably, we are going to actually be on the red carpet in about five minutes, meeting all the stars and nominees of this event. We're so excited, aren't we? Absolutely, the 30th anniversary of the celebration of Canadian talent in film. There's going to be some amazing uh, directors and actors here. From Charles Officer, who we already met at the Toronto International Film Festival. His, his uh, movie is up for uh, best, uh, best Picture. As well as, I, oh, anyway, oh, and I know we have to roll. I know there's going to be a number of people. Anyway, it's going to be an exciting day. We're on the red carpet. Let's get going, Suzanne. <laughs> Nice to meet you. We're the wine ladies. Oh, enchanté. Oh, hi, Gordon. Good. Nice yeah. to meet you. You're charming. You're looking awesome, my dear. Well, thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to wear this for breakfast. <laughs> White wine, generally. Uh, at the moment, anyway, California oaky. A nice oaky California Chardonnay. You also know that red wine is really good for your health and your heart? I know it is. I have a few bottles a day. I, I like <laughs> Uh, of any kind. I still haven't come to the one that I really want. So my idea of tasting, wine tasting, is just a little uh, large. No. Um, well. We, all, we understand. I, I, I did a film years ago in Montreal, and uh, the, the hero was a wine drinker, and the director insisted on real stuff. So I was able to drink from them as the character and take them home, so back to the hotel. So I had a lot of wonderful wine. <laughs> Chambol Moussigny, 1967. Oh, well, uh, there you go. Well, now listen, we understand you're going to be celebrating a birthday pretty, pretty soon, is that right? Not if I can help it, no. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, thank you, we're delighted. Now, as the wine ladies, we have one question for you. What will you be celebrating in your glasses today, tonight, after, after the end of the awards? I know you're looking for wine, I know that you are, and, and the amazing thing is, that's what it was going to be anyway. You know what I mean? If, if, Perfect. Had you been, you know, the gin or the whiskey ladies, we still would have had to be honest and say wine. That's what it would be. You're absolutely stunning. Thank you. Congratulations on Best Actress and also Best Picture. Thank you so much. It's a great honor to be here tonight. Yeah. Were you expecting that? No. <laughs> I got the email inviting me to the press conference. I was like, oh, really? They're inviting me? Maybe they, maybe it's a mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I know. I heard your work was absolutely amazing, I have to say. Now, can we ask you? You said that you like red, you like wine? I love wine. Uh, do you? Are you going to be, what are you going to be celebrating with this evening? Anything in particular? Um, I like Cabernet. I like when it tastes, you know, good and round and full and something like that. Well, she sure makes a, a wine sound very exciting, like in a whole new way, I have to say. I'm French. Uh, wine ladies, does that mean that you drink a lot of it or that you... No, I don't know. <laughs> no, the first... Well, I should say no to both, actually, I think, to be play it safe. <laughs> but we... No, not the W-H-I-N-E, but the W-I-N-E. <laughs> yeah, we enjoy, wi enjoy wine, and we, we always say that everything in life somehow comes back to the vine. Absolutely. Yes. Now, what, do you, what would you recommend as a white wine? Uh, it worked. Well, let's talk about something from Ontario since we're here. Uh, there's some, some amazing white wines out there. If you like Riesling, the Cave Spring Riesling is absolutely delicious. How does it feel to be nominated for Best Actress? I'm absolutely thrilled. I, I really am. I'm, I'm really proud of the, the, the film and my performance in it uh, without being, you know, lacking with, I'm lacking somewhat the humbleness that one should have as a Canadian, but I'm extremely proud of it and, um, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> well, we wish you the very best of luck and I'm sure we're going we're gonna to keep our fingers crossed. And we're going to raise a glass of sparkling wine or champagne th this evening for you. Oh, well, thanks so much, ladies. Wow, <laughs> you guys look amazing. Hi, Karen. Congrats, Charles. How are you? Suzanne, Ingrid. Ingrid, hi. Hi, hi yes. Ingrid. Nice to meet you. Oh, we know Charles, of course. What a dashing trio, if I say so. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, everybody. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Ten nominations. Did I hear that right? Yes. Ten nominations in 2010. When is that going to happen again? Not in our <laughs> lifetime, right? The lucky stars are with you.
Now, Charles, what are you wearing, my dear? We always ask the ladies, but you look, do a little turn. Let's have a, look at this. This, <laughs> this is a cabaret jacket. Yes. Thank you very much. Cabaret vintage and, and, uh, and you know, and the rest honestly is like Kensington Market mashup, but, but the jacket is cabaret and that was where, that was where the fun, funds went to. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Now that was an awesome trio for sure. <laughs> Talk about positive energy with that trio. Oh my goodness. How can they go wrong? Woo, amazing. <laughs> I wonder who we're going to speak to next, Suzanne. I don't know. The stars keep coming out though. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm looking forward to speaking to Carrie, actually, the girl that we met yesterday. She's also up for Best Picture. I think I spotted her down there, so I'm looking forward to that. So you must be very excited. Yes, I am. Very excited to be here. So tell us what you're wearing, because you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. I'm wearing Katrina Tuttle. She's a designer from Nova Scotia. She's 21, and she's brilliant. She's 21? 21. She makes beautiful stuff. Wow, absolutely stunning, my goodness. Well, a cheap wine, I'm not sure, but maybe an inexpensive wine that's great go. value so wine. I that's what we cheap, like to no, say in the business. Yes, right, exactly. We always say life is too short to drink cheap wine. <laughs> So we're excited about meeting some of the stars here today. Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, there's going to be a lot of them here. Josh Jackson's here. Scott Speedman he is here. Leanne Balaban is here. Hey, wine is good for your heart and your soul. There Don't you forget go. that, Doug. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, how does your interpretation or communication or, or delivery of violent film perhaps differ from that of a male director, if there is any difference? I think... Probably the my goal, which may not be um, the same as uh, the male perspective, uh, but maybe you know I, I'm not sure it's gender specific, but um, is that it's kind of a truthful, much more truthful look at violence, which is that it's ugly, it's fast, it's um, shocking, and uh, it's oddly exhilarating uh, in a uh, probably an adrenaline rush sort of way. So I try and capture all that without ever glamorizing. Uh, it in a Hollywood fashion. So I try and make it as truthful and real as possible so that you are shocked by what you're seeing or affected in some way that you can't sit back and go, wow, I'm on a ride. You're actually inside the moments, which hopefully in the case of 50 Dead M Walking, um, there were some very terrifying moments that uh, we needed to see to understand, for example, what torture is, or we needed to see um, you know, what it is to truthfully feel that your life is in danger and you're, you have the nanosecond to make a decision to either try and save yourself or not. So that's what my goal is. Nothing this heavy. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, that feels pretty good. I'm going to hold on to that one for a while. What's next for you, Josh, and what might be next for you having won the genie? Uh, I don't know. This is usually the Disneyland part of the speech everybody gives, right? Uh, no, I think what's next for me is a well-earned vacation. I just finished the second season of Fringe, and uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm totally caught off guard by this. But honestly, I'm going to take a little break for a while. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Genie Awards, and actually, and, oh, and that is a Genie that, Award. You know what, which, this okay. is very heavy, actually. It's about what, It's very pounds? heavy, yes, and that's why, as an elderly person, I don't carry it around. And I didn't win it. Can we make that clear? No, you didn't win tonight. No, I didn't did win. win I have won in my life, won. yes. What did, what did you win for again? I won for a little movie that nobody saw. No. I won for a movie that I think of three or four years ago. It was called Bone Cop, Bad Cop. Never heard of it. Ah! Just kidding. Uh, can I just interject? I want to say who we're talking to here, if you, if you don't mind. <laughs> Kevin Tierney. Yes, Kevin. You, well, okay, I just got it, you know, for the sake of, like, we got, yeah, we got to let everybody know, because they may not recognize you, right? But uh, those are for the people that have been living under a rock. Okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What an exciting evening this has been on the red carpet, as well as here in the press room. We've met all kinds of great people, and we want to thank the Academy for inviting us being here today. We're going to go down to the party now. Well, it's about time we had some fun. No, just kidding. We met some amazing stars, Joshua Jackson, some hotties, some unbelievable people. We'll be back next year, we promise. Right, Suzanne? Absolutely. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Cheers. <laughs>